Let's find the interval and radius of convergence for the power series. We have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, x minus 4 raised to the nth power over 3 to the n times square root of n. So we'll use the ratio test. We'll look at the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of the n plus first term. over the nth term. And so we're just going to rewrite this limit now. Basically, uh, these go together and these go together. But we're going to split it up into two separate fractions. So we have the x minus 4 to the n plus 1 and then 3 to the n square root of n at the top and the bottom we'll write the one that goes with it so it'll be x minus 4 to the nth and then 3 to the n plus 1 times the square root of n plus 1 at this point we can simplify so we have x minus 4 left here since you subtract the exponents and then we have a square root of n at the top and then three factor three at the bottom with square root of n plus one. And now I can factor out the x minus four because it does not depend on n. And you factor it outside as a absolute value. And, I, and we can also do the three as well. And clearly, both of these are going to infinity, but we'll just do some algebra. We can combine it into under one fraction, the n over n plus 1, like this. But it's pretty clear that, um, well, if you divide everything by n, just going to get the square root of 1 over 1 plus 1 over n and that's going to go to 1. So this whole limit equals 1. We have the absolute value of x minus 4 over 3 and you want this to be less than 1 for it to converge. So that means that if I multiply the 3 to both sides we have the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 3 and if we use if we write this, remove the absolute value, we have x minus 4 between negative 3 and 3, add 4 to both sides, and get x is between 1 and 7. Okay. So, uh, the first thing is, this is our radius of convergence. Now, we almost have the interval, interval of convergence, we just need to test the endpoints. So this is where we go back. So um, recall it was the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, x minus 4 to the nth over 3 to the n times square root of n. So if x is 1, we have 1 minus 4 to the nth. So that's negative 3 to the nth power over 3 to the nth times the square root of n, which I can rewrite this. Basically, you can have negative 3 over 3 to the nth power, which is just negative 1 to the nth, over the square root of n. And this converges by the alternating series test because it's decreasing, it's alternating, the limit goes to 0, and so, it's, so it converges. Now if we plug in 7, that gives us 3 to the n over 3 to the n square root of n. The 3 to the n's cancel, we have 1 over square root of n, which is 1 over n to the 1 half power. Here p is 1 half, it's uh, less than or equal to 1, so it diverges. So we don't include uh, the 7, we only include the 1. So that will be the interval convergence.